Welcome back to Conservative News Channel on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to talk about what appears to be a growing likelihood that the Obamas and the Clinton cartel will be arrested, arraigned, actually not arraigned, and I'll explain why later, but arrested and tried for treason. Let's start here on this particular article. As you can see, it states Clinton cartel now being arrested in Arkansas. You come on down and it gives some details as to a variety of people who have already been arrested. Some of them have already been convicted, but the arrests are large. In this particular article, they're pretty much referencing 20 key players and some of those key players have started turning state's evidence. They're singing like a canary. There are judges, there are attorneys, there are politicians from the state of Arkansas. As we know, Bill and Hillary Clinton started there, and from what we can see, they have quite a crime cartel going in Arkansas, and it is coming after them. We don't need to go into detail with each individual here, so let's go on and move on to the next article. This individual article, it's another, basically the same thing we just looked at, talking about 20 key players that have been arrested. Some of them have already been convicted, and some of them have started negotiating for lower sentences, offering up whatever they know about the Clinton cartel. So we have multiple sources reporting this taking place. We continue on and you'll see here breaking news. This was late last week. Fed prosecutors assigned to John Huber's question whistleblower inside the Clinton Foundation on Friday. Video below. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now reports of three or four staff members inside the Clinton Foundation that are turning state's evidence and we have another one I don't have the article up to show you but a whistleblower ultimately was raided by the FBI and during that raid they took his computers they took his documentation they took everything now keep in mind when you hear about this raid that the deep state is still in control of chunks of the FBI and it is very possible that when Hillary Clinton found out the attorney's name that was turning state's evidence, they wanted to know what he had collected and need to know to find out how much trouble she is in. So that raid very likely could have been done by the deep state FBI. But don't worry, the information that was collected is safe because they had to get a sealed indictment in order to go do the raid. And that means everyone involved, their names, are on file with the government. In our next article, you see the common thread behind four investigations. Basically, this goes through a group of investigations, different departments of government that are currently investigating different areas, from the DOJ to Hewler, uh, and they're all going after one specific target, and that is Hillary and Bill Clinton and Barack Obama, and believe it or not, Mueller. The reason Mueller's in trouble is because he is knee-deep in Uranium One, which that's treason, selling United States uranium to a foreign country who is a hostile actor. That's the reason on January the 1st, Donald Trump signed into law the ability to try people in a military tribunal that are charged with treason. Interestingly enough, they spent $200 million remodeling and expanding Gitmo in Cuba. And about 20 days ago, I had made a comment in one of my videos that they had sent about 20 USMJ attorneys to Gitmo so that they could start getting ready to do some work. Now the interesting thing about Gitmo at the moment is that that place is empty. Obama emptied it as his last official act before leaving office. So there's nothing for them to do unless somebody creates some work. Now let's move a little bit further and check out the news today. Again, 
Here we are with Gitmo, 305th Military Police Company deploys to Gitmo Bay. So now we have USMJ attorneys, 20 of them, and we have 100 military police stationed at Gitmo for zero prisoners. Sure sounds to me like that January the 1st ability to prosecute through military tribunal anyone committed of treason with a foreign nation, it sounds like this is where they're all going. That also suggests that sometime after the first of the year, we are going to start seeing arrests. I am guessing that they're going to continue moving up the food chain so that they can gather as much evidence as humanly possible so that it's impossible to say when they arrest a Hillary Clinton or a Bill Clinton or a Obama that there will be no shadow of a doubt as to guilt. They will have enough individuals willing to testify as to what they did to ensure conviction. How quickly this is all going to come about, I do not know, but the fact that they are putting together a team in Gitmo to handle the prisoners tells me that we may not have a long wait. Anyone who's been paying attention to Q, he has basically said, what has started cannot be stopped. It is unstoppable. A lot of people, when it comes to Mueller, don't realize that the reason Mueller was put in charge of the investigation into Trump was the Hillary Clinton and company knew that one day the bell would toll on their actions. And the only way to stop that bell from tolling was to keep the deep state in power and go ahead and get rid of Trump as fast as humanly possible. Well, it seems to me at this point that all the ducks are lined up, the dominoes are ready to be tossed, and they're going to start falling one by one by one over the coming months. And the amount of news that we're going to get about these arrests, potential convictions, is going to increase exponentially. And people are going to start to see exactly how honest the Democratic Party is. What's always amazed me about the Democrat Party is look at the this most recent election. You've got President Trump pulling 20, 30, 40,000 people to venues for speaking. You've got Obama out speaking on different politicians' behalf, and he's pulling 900, 1,500, 2,000, 3,000. And yet, they got 56% of the vote. This month, we're going to see a report from DHS that should detail what fraud they found. There are a lot of people who have suggested that the Department of Homeland Security had a lot of surveillance equipment plastered around the country in different polling booths that have been sus suspected of voter fraud, and we're going to start getting an idea of exactly how deep that rabbit hole goes. So, as we go into January, once the Christmas season is over, be prepared for fireworks. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you'll take the time to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.